Hi guys, my name is Isaac Gish. I need two volunteers from the audience. Okay, Lexi and Maddie. So Lexi, I'm gonna show you this slide and you say the first thing that pops into your head. What color is this? Green. Okay, Maddie, what color is this? Blue. Okay, you can go sit down. So you could look at these slides and say that they're blue or red or green. It doesn't really matter except for the fact that people have different perspectives on every single thing in this world. Like, think about it, what do y'all see? So now I'm gonna tell you a story. A story about a man named Lorenz Sell. Lorenz Sell was a former CEO of a company and he had a good and successful life until he had to walk away from everything, which he describes as a four-year process that can only be called losing his identity. It was a time frame where he would shift in and out of homelessness and heartbreak. He was ashamed of who he was, and he lived in his car. He knew his name, Lorenz Sell, but who exactly was that? Without knowing who he was, he couldn't socialize with anyone. His social standpoint on himself was that he was just trash. So after reading this part of the story, it got me thinking, what exactly is the definition of identity? So I looked it up on Google, and here's what I got. The fact of being who or what a person or thing is. That's just talking itself in circles. It doesn't really give you a true definition. So I moved on to the second one, and it's dated a close similarity or affinity. I don't even think those words belong in the same sentence. So after thinking some more and doing some more research, I decided to boil down the fact of identity to one question. Who am I? Now Lorenz goes on in his story to really define what identity is. He says it's not just knowing who you are, but when you lose your identity, you are so focused on what the outside world thinks that if you're not yourself, how in this terrible, suffering, ungreat world could you ever be happy? So ladies and gentlemen, I want you to see this point. People live their lives believing that they will never be enough. As you can see and learn his story, he thought that because he had given up on who he was, he wasn't enough. They think that to be themselves, their very own identity that they were born with is the very worst thing in the world. People have been hurt and shamed by the thoughts that this world put into their mind. Thoughts like, I'm no good. Thoughts like, I'm not rich enough. Thoughts like, I'm not important. Thoughts like, no one cares about me. Thoughts that started as seeds and grew and grew and grew and grew and grew and to something that cannot be uprooted by your own strength. Like the young girl who wishes to be someone other than herself because of what someone did to her. Like the young boy who wishes to be something or someone else because he believes he doesn't measure up to what a guy should be. The world poisons our minds and dwindles our self-identity by use of the media and celebrities. It's programmed into a shell to protect us from reality. So you might ask me, how do I determine my identity? I would tell you, it's not based on a feeling, it's not based on self-worth, and it's not changed by past experiences. May I submit to you that there is a God who is creator. He created all of us on purpose and did not make a mistake to find the most fulfillment in your life, to find peace in your heart, and to find hope for the best you, I encourage you to embrace the God who created you because he is ready to embrace you. Thank you.